But we start with our gorgeous puppy, Clover, who's training to be a guide dog. And today is her very first puppy day at puppy school. And uh, like all proud parents, we didn't want to miss a thing, so we brought the lesson to the studio. Uh, Jay is Clover's puppy training supervisor. Mm -hmm. So what are they going to do today? Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a few little bits and pieces for you, hopefully get you involved with it as well a little bit. OK. okay. Um, we talked a little bit the other day about touch training, so we thought we'd give you a little bit of a demonstration of and just remind what everybody, touch training yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. So what, what is it exactly? It is focusing the puppies to locate a target. So initially at this age we start them to locate the hand, mm -hmm. uh, the handler's hand, and then we can transfer that onto the back of a chair or a pelican box at a crossing or something like that at later You could do day. this with, the, if, even though your puppy may not be being a guide dog, you could do this for obedience yes. at home, can't yes, you? Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, it's something that just focuses the dog on a little bit. Okay, their show brain us how it's done. So well, guys, we'll give them a go. Oh, look so we've got different all. ages here as well today. So you'll see with the young two on the outside that we're just looking that they touch and then they get a reward so all we're looking that they touch the hand and get a reward oh and I they, see so you're putting your hands in front of their faces you just put your hand as if you're going to shake somebody's hand and you ask the dog to touch it and you see with the older ones we're asking them just to touch it a little bit more and with Bianca who's much older she's actually moving towards the target which is right what I see. Okay. I'm just watching Clover here Clover's doing really well here let's just uh, have a look at Clover 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 touch Good. Oh, yeah. good girl. So just for that initial, I've touched it and that's enough. Oh, she's so clever. OK, and what's the next phase then? The uh, other thing that we teach them to do is still. And this is to get the dogs to be perfectly still. So puppies are wiggly and they're all over the place. So we were asked to, so that they can be checked by the vets and things like that, we can ask them to be still. So it's slightly different. And what we do is we ask the puppy to rest their head on the hand and that eventually the puppy should keep that head there until we tell them different. Oh, it's just... So, again, is, the little uh, ones... What's this, what's this third one here? The one is this, in the middle um... is Bianca. She's a year old with Sue, so she actually will keep her hand there until Sue says to her, you can now move. So if we were going to put treatment in her ear or we were going to get a check by the vet, she would stand perfectly still whilst oh, that is done. Oh, it's just so incredible. Let's have a look at her. Uh, how's Clo Clover doing with her Clover, let's see yours. stillness? Clover, still? Still, Clover. Clover. Still. Good. Good girl, still. <laughs> Makes you want to cry. I don't know why. That really <laughs> We're so proud. <laughs> it's just so sweet. And again, Lewis is um, Lewis one is one of our Labradors. So again, they'll do anything for food. So we do a lot of. At this stage, it's it's retrieve it. It's um, the reward is food. But Gosh, also the well trainers done. are saying to the dogs, "Good dog, well done," and giving the praise as well. And eventually, we will phase the food out. Well, they're all doing brilliantly. And, 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 and,